This colour and page just here was created entirely with ChatGPT. Now, some pretty cool stuff has recently happened where ChatGPT has integrated DALI 3 into the platform. Now, it is currently in beta, as we can see just here, but what I'm going to do is share with you how I created some colouring pages. Now, quick side note, if you want to know how I'm currently creating colouring pages using ChatGPT and also Midjourney, then come and check out my ultimate colouring page prompt generator. If you want to check it out, there will be a link down in the description below. So, ChatGPT has now integrated DALI 3 into the platform. Now, this is in beta version, and you do need to have ChatGPT Plus to actually use this. Now, this has been rolled out for a couple of weeks now, but it's only yesterday that I actually got access to this. So, you may have this or you may not. But nonetheless, let me go through and show you what I've been doing with this. Now, what I did first was just asked it a bunch of questions. I said, do you now integrate with DALI? It says, yes, we now integrate with DALI to generate images. I said, can you explain a little bit more about this? So it goes on to talk about textual descriptions, image generations, multiple variations, and limitations. And I also asked it if we can create different size images. Because if you're going to create colouring pages, you don't really want a square image, you want quite a tall one. So it says they create squares, wides and tools. Then it said if I'd like to give it a try, but I said not yet, I still want to ask a few questions. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. So then I asked is it possible to create colouring pages? Yes, if you provide a description specifying that you want a colouring page, DALI can generate images with bold outlines and no fill, resembling colouring pages. So I asked it, can you give me five example prompts on what this would look like? So it gave me colouring page of a serene forest scene with tall pine trees and a few others. Now what I actually did was took these and entered them into ChatGPT in the chat to see what it created and we're going to see that in a second but i said what would be the best size image for these if i wanted to create an 8.5 times 11 coloring book so it practically told me that we're going to need the tool so i then said how many images can we create is there any limit so you can request images based on your descriptions but there is a limit to the number of images generated at once Specifically, I can generate up to four images per request. Now, I also said, hold on, I still want to ask a few questions. And I asked it, can you give me five example prompts for a landscape coloring page with the tool 1024 by 1792 image size? And he said, of course. Now, I did actually make a mistake a second ago. I didn't create all those images. I created the images from these just here. We have a tall colouring page of a mountainous landscape during sunrise. A tall colouring page showcasing a vast desert landscape and a few others, all centred around landscapes. And then I just said, create me, and then I plugged in one of these prompts just here. So there's still a lot of cool stuff that you can do. You can actually get ChatGPT to actually create you a bunch of prompts which you can then go ahead and use now with this first one just here with the mountain landscape we got these images and to be fair they actually look really good so if we click on here we can see what they look like now again dali within chat gpt is going to give you four images based on your prompts now once you've got the images that you like you can simply come up to here and download them from there as well then you can go and upscale them and then go and create your books. But this was the first image that we got. Again, looks really good. Then we have the second image just here, the third image and the fourth image. Now these mountain landscape coloring pages are definitely up there with regards to quality. So that was the first set. 
with the mountains. We then took the second prompt, which was tool colouring page showcasing a vast desert landscape. Now I thought these looked pretty cool as well, especially this one. This was my favourite out of it, along with, which one was it? This one just here is just playing up a little bit, so let's go off of that. Let's click on there again. It doesn't really want to show me that at the minute, so let's just do the other three. But I thought these looked really good as well, especially this one. Then we have a few more from the other prompts. These don't quite look like a proper colouring page, but there's lots of different things that you could do. But if we take a look at these, we can just check to see what they're like. So we have that one, this one, that one, and this one as well. Look, this looks really good, but again, this one isn't quite up there with a colouring page. Now let's move on to the next lot. This was for a tool colouring page of a serene countryside. Now these look good as well. There's a little bit of blue in this image, but if we take a look, these are actually really good, along with that one, this one as well, and also this one. Again, there's a little bit of blue in this, but there is things that we could do to change that and make this better quality. But nonetheless, just being able to create colouring pages within ChatGPT is an absolute game changer. Now let's take a look at that one. There's also a little bit of blue in this as well. Now let's move on to the last lot just here, which is tool colouring page of a coastal scene. Now I really like these. Let's take a look at this one. That's the first. That's the second. I really like this one as well, along with this one and also that one. So as we can see, some of these are really great quality. I think if you played around with this and really dialed in your prompts, then I reckon you could get some really, really great results. Now, out of all of these, these mountain landscapes are definitely my favourite. So, that's what I wanted to share. The ability to now create colouring pages here within ChatGPT. I think this is awesome. This is something that I am going to be playing with over the next few days. Now, what I suggest doing is not coming over to ChatGPT and then just asking it to create colouring pages. Well, first, make sure you've got that enabled, but don't just come in and say, create me a dot colouring page. What you want to do is really feed ChatGPT a lot of information on what you want to create. Prime ChatGPT so it fully understands on what you want to do and then you're going to get much better results. So as you can see, I asked it a bunch of information first before actually creating the colouring pages. And again, you can even get ChatGPT to create you all of the prompts as well. So if you have ChatGPT4, come over, see if it's enabled and start playing around. Now, what's your thoughts on this? Do you think this is good? Do you like this idea? Do you like the ability of just creating your colouring pages here within ChatGPT? Well, drop a comment letting me know down below. And if you want to watch more of my AI videos, click right here and watch this playlist.